Alrighty then, so I showed you a, a brief moment of testing, so I'm going to give you a, another brief moment of testing and I'm going to show you a few more things on this um, controller setup, so let's do that. Alright, so let me show you what I got here. I basically have a uh, encoder wheel, you gotta excuse all the printers in the background. I got an encoder wheel here. Um, it's got different things. This one has 12, this one has 60, and this one has 30. So I can just move these around and get what I want. Now, the index pulse, as you can see, is right there. There's one for each one, and what it is, is it's bigger than the rest. So, if you look at one edge, it's always consistent, and if you look at the other edge, so the rising or the falling, then you can find this one edge that's different. So in one direction, all the falling edges are the same, and the rising edges are the same except for that one spot. So that way, the index pulse is actually built into the wheel without ever losing track of the pulses. So um, what this is, is actually a laser. Well, it's actually an LED probably. Could be a laser LED. Um, and so I can't get too close, but you can see that there is light shining through there. So these are two fiber optic lines, one for the going out, one for the going in. And they run over here to this module. Okay, and this module just picks up, uh, sends and receives, as you can see on the side, and then puts out a signal and then you can do a whole bunch of fancy stuff here. Um, and that feeds into the Arduino, and then I'll show you what the Arduino program is doing on the other side. So the index pulse is set at 90 degrees from the top dead center so that we can fire it before or after top dead center by knowing where the index pulse is. So when you get to the screen you'll see where that's at. I just wanted to show you that we've got it 90 degrees before top dead center. So we've got this connected to an Arduino shield uh, ramps board for now and uh, basically um, this program was written by Richard, and I must thank him. He racked his brain around this and got it working. So we've got the... it's not finished though, and it's limited to certain things, but it's working. So we got the fire, we got the delay, we got the short, and we got the off. So if I move the fire, this is in degrees, right? So this is 180 degrees. So if I move the fire at all, then it automatically moves the off. So you're limited to 180 degrees. So you can't go past zero on the off. Um, the RPM is the RPM. The PP is the pulse, um, the actual pulses. And then the index pulse. Um, and this counts the pulses up to 30. And then the pre is the where you're firing it at top dead center. Um, this is just how we have it now, prone to change. So if I go down here to run, okay, and I'm going to fire this thing up and actually run it. So, just a second. Okay, so we designed the thing so that we had to start it spinning so we could find it, its index and it knew where it was. And then it allowed you to flip to run. So you're going to see some lights flashing over here because I got it out on the channels for the ramps board for now. And then I'll hook them up to the relays so we can watch that run. I don't actually have a thing running yet. I haven't even tested it. We just got this far. So I'm going to go ahead and spin it. Okay. Now it, it's it's reading an RPM. So if I flip it to run, you're going to see you're going to see the index. I got to keep it spinning. You're going to see the index. Uh, it's just set. And then you're going to see the uh, count of pulses and the RPM changing. And what it's doing is if you see the lights flashing over there, it's flashing positive cycle, then an open, then a short, then an open, then a negative cycle, then an open, then a short. And it changes with RPM. So if I speed it up, you'll see the lights speed up. All right. And when you see it start slowing down, it'll start slowing down. So the input for my index on my magnet is completely isolated by these fiber lines. So there's no chance of anything getting back to this controller. And then again, the from last time, the fiber eyes, all right, go here. And actually go over here and go behind the desk and go into my box. So there is the finished box. 
It looks a bit funny, but it works. So what I'm going to do is actually hook this thing up and so you can see it running. But first, I'm going to show you what the outputs look like on the scope. So, uh, I'll leave it like that even though it's at a bad angle. So right now, it stopped. So we'll spin it up. All right, and I'll stop this and I'll zoom in to one cycle and I'll kind of show you what it's doing. So you can see, um, you can see the index pulse. All right, it's a little bit smaller than the rest. And then you've got the fire, the gap, the short, okay, the gap, the reverse polarity fire, then the gap, then the short, then the gap, then the fire again. So I'm going to zoom in on one of these index pulses so you can actually you can actually see it. So they're very consistent until this one right here. So this one right here, that's the big index pulse. So all of the um, let's see, all of the falling edges are the same. So falling edge, falling edge, falling edge, falling edge, falling edge, you don't even know that there's an index pulse. But the rising edge, rising, 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 these two are really close to each other, right? And then this one's gapped, so that's where we're actually measuring the index pulse. Um, this controller really isn't fast enough, to be honest, but um, for right now it's working, and so we can actually test fire this thing and, well, see what happens. Should work all right. Let's hook it up to the relays, because I actually haven't even done that yet. Let's see what that gives us. Oh. Background is not helping me with all the light, but... It is running on its own power. It's not very fast. I've got it sitting on top because I'm trying to work out some bugs. But the controller is... Uh, doing its thing and it is working see it counting the index pulses there or the uh, the actual pulses and you can see on the screen that it updates there's still some bugs to work out but uh, proof of concept at the moment just to show that it is able to do what it is doing right now the way we got stuff set, set up, it eventually gets out of sync, um, and we're still mucking around with this program because we're really stretching the limits of this controller with a simple program without going too crazy and in-depth. Um, All right, well, there it is. It is running. Um, it's running on its own fiber, so fiber lines come into the shielded box there. You see the relays. I don't have the short connected to anything, so it's just open right now. But um, it is spinning on its own power. It's sitting on top just because I needed to put it there um, for this moment, for this demonstration, because I've got stuff configured for something else. So anyway, it is running. It is operating. It's on the new coil at this exact moment. There's some bits and pieces for something else coming up. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you hear it run and let you see it run and it's doing exactly what we want it to and one day at a time we'll progress with this thing see it counting the pulses there okay god bless have a good day thanks for watching read the bible more stay faithful god is good and uh, with him all things are possible Peace out. Oh, that's two big giant coils. <laughs>